This sister, I had the pleasure of meeting when I went to Dallas, man. We got seven calls. They got to hold on because I have to bring this sister on here. I got to play something first that when TMZ tried to clown us about the nationality, about who we are, and said that this sister claimed that she was a Moor. Listen, let me put this out there for everybody, and I hope TMZ is listening. If it wasn't for the Moors, you would not be taking bath. You would not have a paved pavement. You would not have your cars, your material, any of these things if it wasn't for the Moors. So don't clown. And those brothers that was in TMZ, you better get your study on. If you want to talk to a real Moor, you should contact the Sabir Bay Show. Don't make a joke talking about we're going to contact Morgan Freeman. If Morgan Freeman is not proclaiming who he is, that's the wrong person to go to. Even though his name means Morgan Freeman. We understand the science. But if you want to talk to a more who knows, you contact the Sabir Bay Show. And we'll put you in contact with whoever you need to talk to about this situation. Okay? But I want to play this piece before my sister Pilar comes on the line. Pilar, are you there? We have Pilar on the line? Absolutely, okay. Sabir Bay. Absolutely. Peace. Hold on one second, Pilar. I have to play this for everybody because some people didn't even hear or saw this video. And, and it was funny because it was a clip that was done from TMZ, but somebody in Europe gave them the history behind who the Moors truly are. The world knows who we are, but the Negroes in America don't know who we are. Okay? So I want to play this skit real quick, and we're going to just get into the conversation and take some more phone calls. But I want you to, you know, say your piece because this is not the first time this is just part one all right all right so let's sit back and relax i want y'all to sit back and listen very close how tmz is just clowning all of us real quick welcome and you are watching more tv england where we provide you the best in world news so recently tmz had a funny commentary about mars Welcome to TMZ Moorish Empire, covering all things Moor since 711 AD. Like invading and horses and fighting the Christians, you know, Moor stuff. But wait, because for the first time in 500 years, breaking more news! Yes, the former reality star is now affiliated with the Moorish Divine and National Movement of the World, or Mindemindemu. But is all this just a stunt to get more money from Deion Sanders in their divorce? It seems like all this is just a stunt to get more money from Deion Sanders in the divorce. Right, because the judge was all, sorry, you have a prenup, and Pilar was like, no way, I want half of everything. And the judge was like, too bad, you're out of luck unless you're a Moor. And she was all, oh, well, I am now, conveniently. In fact, she changed her name to Pilar Biggers Sanders Love L. Day. So what does all this mean? No, we're asking you because we have no idea. Anybody know any Moors? Have we reached out to Morgan Freeman from, from Robin Hood? Oh yeah, Azim. He was... Moorish. He was a Moor. He's the most popular Moor. He's ever. the most, most famous. That's no, the most famous Moor. is the most famous Moor. Guys, there's been a lot of famous Moors. Mandy, Dudley, Demi, Julianne, Mary Tyler, Roger, Jay, Shamar, mother And that's it. We don't have any Moor jokes. Get it? Thanks, Pilar Bigger, Sanders Love L. Day. Your bizarre plan probably won't work. So, who are the Moors? The Moors are the original man and womb man of the planet. The first family of nations to give birth to all other nations. All throughout Europe, the Moors were revered for exposing Europe to things like art, medicine, alchemy, high science, law, etc. Moor TV is a new network that is kicking off fourth quarter 2015. This show is dedicated to bringing you real news from coast to coast. I'm Chris Scott and you're watching Moor TV. Okay, now, let's get back into it. Now, did, did you see and hear what they just said? It was a joke with TMZ wow. and the Europeans in Europe know exactly. He said we are the ones that gave life to civilization. But how ignorant. It's very they? ignorant. And this is why I have my sister Pilar on the line right now. We're going to go in. <laughs> we going in. Pilar, welcome to the Sabir Bay Show, the first time ever on this network. And we got a lot of people online, a lot of people that are listening right now. Listen. Yay. Thank I, you. Thank you for having me, Sabir, and everyone listening. I appreciate your time. Yes. I appreciate your uh, your platform, absolutely. You do a fabulous job, so I'm give, very humbled yeah. to be on here with you. Give thanks. Give thanks. No, I'm humbled to have you on here because well, we need more people well, 
like you to actually be on here. We got somebody on the line that's in the background. We can clip them or put them on mute. Whoever it is in that background, could you put your phone yeah. on mute? Because I don't want nobody to interpret things differently here or say something different that we did not say. But I want, you know, in this video, um, Pilar? Yes, is that your, Is that your noise in the background or somebody else? No. Okay. No, it's not mine. Okay, I got you. I know you're professional, but we we good. But uh, <laughs> but um, what what struck me, and I want to thank Brother Kujo up in Can Canada and Canaan Land for actually yeah. linking me with this sister because it, it was disturbing. Then I went to Dallas and met the sister, and I'm like looking at all the stuff, and then the the propaganda that TMZ put out there about this sister talking about, and this is what is happening: the Moors are not subject to U.S. law. She never said that. And we're not. Let me clarify yeah. this for everybody. We're not. We're not sovereign. That's an oxymoron. We are Americans. We are the true sovereigns. We're not being something right, else. Exactly. Something that we joined into. Right. So let's clarify that. And I hope a judge, an attorney, or anybody may be listening. And please come and challenge us on this topic because we're here. If again, you want to talk to real more, here we go. All right. But Pilar, welcome to the show. Let's let's get into this real quick. So. I, you know, there's a lot of questions people want to ask you, and I, and I, and again, yeah, we want to take take it at the top. I want to know how and when did you bump into this information? Because when you watch TMZ, they said is it a stunt to get real more money? Now, my take on it is, if you were married for over ten years, you were entitled to every goddamn thing. I don't give us five years. I'm just keeping it one hundred. Mm -hmm. You know, so. I just want to know, and I actually have my brother uh, Mel Jackson on the line also. Uh, I know you're familiar with his his work also. He's from Soul Food, Delivers from Eva, Temptations, all those types of things. Oh, pretty, yeah. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Hello, Brother Mel. How are you? He, he ain't got to go that far. Is he there? <laughs> okay. He's there. He's, there. He, he's right there. Listen, man, you know, I think it's, uh, I, think, I think this issue is uh, very timely, and I would love to hear your thoughts on it and, and how you see it. And I'm sure everybody else listening will, too. Yeah, and it, it, but um, yes, Pilar. But um, could you go into that real quick on how you came into this information? Okay. Well, well, let me address the the question that you or the statement actually that you um just said about um me becoming a more to get half of whatever. It's all mine anyway. I yeah. <laughs> understand who you are because I do. You see, if uh the the land is a lodium, the land is my land. You know, uh, along with being married for 15 years, I mean, come on. Um, the the land that this the magistrate who unlawfully adjudicated the the case where he lives is my land. Okay, where he sits is my land. So if we're going to call it ace and ace, call it an ace, call it spade a spade, call it what it is. Um, now, as far as uh, we were brought up, my mother and father brought us up with the morals and values that were taught in, in more science and throughout history anyway. So it was, it was only very natural and very right that um, when I did uncover the rest of my lineage, um, that it, it, it melted together and in, in, in pieces of the puzzle were, were fit perfectly. Um, it was indeed definitely during the divorce uh, I was looking for my family. And during the divorce process with the hearings and, and the court system, I, would, uh, I found that the prosecuting attorney, Dion's attorney, became very, very upset, like irately upset. The magistrate was irately upset, and I couldn't figure out why every time I got up on the stand to say something, these people would threaten jail time. Uh, to force me to say what they wanted me to say because I wasn't responding or I wasn't answering them. I was simply responding how I normally would respond mm -hmm. and what I was taught to say, you know, being brought up. So going through the, the, the questionings and, and, and my responses and mulling over those things through my head and, and going over the Constitution and law and treaties, I, you know overstudied this stuff and, and, and I, I couldn't figure out why in the world and how in the world could such criminality be taking place inside of this particular courtroom that I was forced into in the very beginning anyway mm. um, I, I was forced to get an attorney Dion would not let me out of the marriage um, 
uh, his attorney wouldn't let me out. I couldn't leave. Uh, you know, I couldn't get anything unless I was forced, unless I had this attorney to get into this courthouse and, and go through these little crazy unlawful steps. Wow. So in, in route to that, I'm, you know, studying the constitution, I'm going back and I'm learning the things that I should have known anyway. Um, I'm looking at the treaties, I'm looking at international law, I'm looking at the rights of a child, I'm looking at the Declaration of Rights, you know, the human rights, universal, unalienable rights that I know belong to me divinely, but I could not figure out why in the world is this magistrate up here denying all of my rights, depriving me of of my children, depriving me, my children of their rights. I couldn't get it until... um, uh, I, I began to look deeper into more science, and I began to uh, unfold the color of the authority and the colored offices, and deeper into world history, not just American history. And in in root in, in in that road, I was also simultaneously looking for my family. Mm. Okay, so in in search of my family, I found us. And I found the missing pieces to, to my puzzle, to my lineage, to my heritage, and began to enact that inside of the courtroom, and they didn't like it at all. Wow. So, so I, I, was, I was threatened on a constant basis. I was extorted on a constant basis. I was harassed and still today harassed on a constant basis. And um, I'm just the most unlawful criminal activity from Ray Wheelis, from Rick Robertson, from Deion Sanders, from these policy enforcers here, from these magistrates in Collin County. It is absolutely horrifically ridiculous. And they refuse to honor and respect nationality. They refuse to honor and respect the, the position and the power that we Moors truly and honorably have. They are committing absolute constitutional blasphemy here in Collin County, the 366th District Court. They are committing treason, uh, human trafficking, genocide, kidnapping. They busted down my door, kidnapping my children on allodial property from indigenous people, okay, in which I have the right, every single right to just do anything I want to now that you're on my property. But be so arrogantly walk through and walk over people's rights, people's homes, uh, anything that belongs to you, your your freedom, your liberties, your security, as if they are God. But that's what and terrorists do. Not. That's what terrorists do. And, and and for those that is joining, we're listening to my sister Pilar, uh, Pilar L. Day, actually Deion Sanders' ex-wife, those that watch football, because I don't watch football, so I could care less anyway, but... I know some of those dudes because I think they hockey players half the time. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't watch sports. <laughs> but anyway, but I want to want you to address this. And if anybody have a question or comment, you can give us a call at three two three four seven three thirty one hundred. But I want you to address the issue with TMZ because hopefully they're listening about it was a stunt to get more money. When I I spoke, yeah. with, I think it was Mel early, and I said Mel. Um, peop- I think it was no it was my brother Norris we were speaking about how when people wake up when it's time for them to wake up and I said that just was her time to wake up because Noble Jali said it would be the third and fourth generation coming with their eyes wide open so he was talking about mm-hmm. us from 1920 to now so he also said he's going to make the European tell the truth see what I'm saying so it's not that she oh she jumped over here because now she thinks she's going to get out of something no it's that time right mm-hmm. now it ain't no coincidence that Yasin Bey Formerly known as Most Deaf is a Bay, or Africa Bambada Bay is a Bay, or James Ingram the Singer yeah. is a Bay. It's no coincidence that people know. I mean, you know, that they're saying these things now, but it's more and more people are starting to come up and become conscious of who we are. We're home. The ignorance of TMZ. They need to get their group to do some more research and studying on this, or they need to come to the Sabir Bay show. But can you speak on that about what TMZ said um, about getting more? You wanted to, it's a stunt to get more money. I, I know it's old to you. Well, That's just me. Right, right. The, the thing is, again, it's um, you know, with with TMZ, you have to understand they're they're doing what they what they, and who they are. They're a gossip station. Okay, so everything is done in jest, regardless if it's true or not. Um, it, it sells 
airtime for them. It sells shows. It, it puts people on the radio like we are talking about them right now. So it, it's doing what it was meant to do. Now, what they did do for me was make make a, a make it publicized. Mm. <laughs> so thank you. You know, <laughs> but however, you're not doing me a favor because I could do that myself. Exactly. Um, I, I never I never gave an interview to TMZ. Uh, so any of the quotes that that they ingest. Uh, proclaim or declare on their show or in writing did not come from me. Mm. Um, the, the, the papers that I have, all of my writs, and uh, people do your homework on writs and the power of a writ and who it really belongs to, uh, have been in the courts for quite some time. These magistrates out here masquerading mm. as judges like Rivulus and, mm. and Carolyn Wright um, often either shred the writs or try to hide them and act as if they don't exist. Mm. Uh, but they're on a time schedule right now anyway. So uh, sooner or later, <laughs> just like Noble Jew Ali said, they're going to have to admit what's what. And it it is happening. It um, is happening. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So as far as TMZ's uh, account goes, what they've done was they've made the Moorish uh, divine empire even more public than than we were mm. in today's realm mm -hmm. and to today's young youngsters, young stars out there. So uh, I received a lot of um, uh, some backlash, I would say, from those who didn't quite understand what was going on and the fact that Ignorance. all media isn't necessarily from your mouth. You know, everyone's quote did not come from me. Um, but it did actually draw the attention of, of a lot of, of young stars who began to research what Moore science is and who Moorish Americans are and who the Moors are and the history of the Moors. So on a positive note, this is what they they added to. So they, they do know, TMZ does know, the owners of TMZ knows, uh, the, the people in Hollywood, the producers and the, the, the directors and the writers, they do know and they are very well educated as to who we are as the more. Again, it is the, the people who are being kept from knowledge, who are being kept out of those inner circles, it is uh, the, the people who consider themselves colored or black or even African-American who are being kept from true knowledge uh, by either the, the actually the, I don't even know what you want to call them, running Hollywood, <laughs> the Zionists running Hollywood, I'm, I'm not sure. The perpetrators. Or, or even the boule, or even the boule, you know, because you have, and I'll have to deem them such, you have your dirty moors or sleeping moors or black or African-American, whatever you want to call them. Uh, in Hollywood doing uh, shows and, and producing networks and stuff like that, who could care less about their brother or sister?